Now it is time to check if we have a full row, a full column or a full diagonal line. I already typed out the code. So and I'm going to try to explain how this algorithm works. So the first thing I created is a list of tuples called search directions or search dirs. And each of these tuple is a direction. The first is north, the second is northwest, then west, southwest, south, southeast, east, and northeast. I also commented here. After these search directions, I created two new methods. One is the is within bounds, and the second is the check grid. And the check grid method is run after the after the mouse click. So in it, it is only running when the self that get cell value is equal to zero. So it switches the player. It uh, sets the cell value to X or O, depending on which um, player is active, and then it calls the check grid method. And let's go to the is within bounds. So is within bounds is needed um, because without this, uh, we are, when we are going to click, let's say. Let's say here in the, the corner without this is within bounds it will give us the list index out of range error or exception so and this just returns a boolean true or false so if x is greater than or equal to zero and x is less than three and y is greater than or equal to zero and y is less than three. So if all of these evaluates to true, it will return a true. If any of these evaluates to false, it will return false. So now let's go to the check read method. It takes x, y and the player and it will start an local variable or it will create a local variable called count so which will start with one and this is because if we if we are click let's say on a cell we already placed a letter here so that's why we are starting with one because we have one letter placed and after after every click this check grid will run and will loop through the search directions using the enumerate function the enumerate function just will return the index numbers and the tuples inside the search directions so the index in the first iteration the index will be zero then the index will be one then two and so on and uh, their x and their y will be the actual values inside these tuples so in the first iteration it will be zero and negative one then in the second iteration their x will be negative one and their y will be negative one and so on so as it loops through it it will always asks or checks it will always check for if is within the bounds the x plus the direction x and the y plus the direction y so just let me show you if i take out this uh, check here so control i mean all of this and i run the game and if i click here somewhere in the corner here or here it will just gives us a list index out of range error 
So now add back the deleted code here. Control Z. So now it will check if it is in the bounds. So when I click here in the corner, no error. So I prepared something in, in GIMP just to explain how this algorithm works. I think I can explain it a little bit better visually. So I'm going to GIMP and let's say I place an X in this position, in this cell, then the check grid method will start a search. First it will go to this direction and it will check the is within bounds will check if it is a valid cell and of course it, it is not so it skips the whole code and it the and it goes to the I mean it goes to the to the next so first it go uh, went to north now in the second iteration it goes to north uh, west so it checks if it is a valid cell or valid position of course it's it is not so it skips the whole code and it goes to west so now we are here and it checks if is within bounds so if it is a valid position and yes it is then it performs this second check if there is a, a player or an, a, a, the current player which in this case in X and of course uh, here is no player so it will just it will just check further to the to to this uh, cell then to this cell and it will try to go to this this and lastly to this position and of course uh, this will just return false when we ask for the is within bounds function with or method so let's say in the second I'm going to add an X here so it will start over the whole check so it will go to go to the north then northwest then west uh, southwest south uh, south east east and to the northeast of course in northeast it will found an x so now this count variable will be incremented by 1. So now count is 2. And then it will, from this position, it will try to go further to north uh, east and check if there is a cell. And if there is a cell, then uh, check which value is in that cell. Of course, in this case it will evaluate to false because there is no cell so that's why I created here the x x equals x plus direction x and y y equals y plus direction y and let's check it into the in the new direction if it is within the bounds and if this returns true then evaluate this if it is a player or not and if yes then count will be incremented by one so if count will be free it just breaks out the for loop and lastly it just asks that if count is free then print the current or the active player wins so now let's go to these uh, checks so go back to GIMP and now let's say I'm going to so first of all let's say I place I'm placing the last X here 
so it starts to check this this position this position then this position this position uh, this position this position and this position so all of these ex uh, evaluates the false only this will be true so count will be incremented by one and from this position it goes to this position and it will found this x so the count will be free so the x will win the game now let's see why we need to check uh, for these uh, let's say we have a situation where we have an x here an x here and an x here so this was let's say the last x i placed so from this x it will search here it founds one x then here 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 and lastly here it founds the second x so count will be free although we don't have any full rows or full columns so that's why we need to reverse the direction so this is the last i placed so it will go to this cell it will found one and it will reverse the direction to this cell and it will look here and if it finds nothing then then the count won't be um, incremented so if we are going to the north so in the first iteration that's why i use the enumerate function because it um, returns the index number so if the index is zero that means we are going north in that case the new direction will be south so the opposite of north north to south if you are at index one that means that uh, the search is that uh, going to northwest in that case we need to reverse the direction to southeast so so let me try to actually draw this so here it is. so let's say here i place an x then or i mean i place here an x then i place here an x and lastly i place here an x so it starts to search here 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 then here of course it finds here an x this is the south uh, southwest then it won't uh, it won't just continue to this cell but after it found this x it will reverse the direction to the opposite of southwest which, which is north uh, east and it will look to northeast and of course it finds an x so count will be free and the game will be over so hopefully it was understandable so this all just maps the uh, based on the the current index number it maps the direction so north to south northwest to southeast west to east southwest to northeast and south to north southeast to northwest east to west and northeast to southwest so and after after this it checks once again if is within the bounds the x plus the new direction at index 0 and y plus the new direction at index 1 and it continues on the next line the cell that gets cell value at 
x plus the new direction at 0 and y plus the new direction at 1 is a player, then increment the count variable and of course if count is free, then break out the for loop, else set back count to 1 and continue to the next iteration of this for loop. And now let's just try out the game. So I will place here in a row four x's, so x or three x's I mean, and x and it prints out x wins. So now let's try it with the o. So let's say I'm going to place diagonally o's, so x, o, x, o, x and o and it prints o wins. So the hardest part, the search algorithm now is working and hopefully my explanation was understandable. So and I'm going to create one more video and this will be just adding some basic functionalities like uh, when we press the spacebar just clear out the grid so we don't need always to to restart the game